You know what I'm saying? And then that set the, that set the town off, you know what I'm saying, on some crazy shit. But one thing about France is that also they got that um they got that thing with them too to where they don't fuck with the police. The police is but the police is worse over there. Matter of fact, let me not say that this is America. Um, but the police is they on the exact same shit that they on over here. You know what I'm saying? They on some straight massacre shit. And then you look at like the history of France and everything. Um forgot what war it was. But but they slaughtered you know what I'm saying, um almost the whole Algerian country of Africa. They slaughtered all them niggas, killed them niggas. Then they were raping them niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about France. That was a that was a war tactic for them. You know what I'm saying? You know, to rape to rape your victims and shit like that. And that's where the whole sleeping with the enemy shit comes from. Because that's what they used to do. You were enemy. So I'm a, so I'm gonna throw you in this brothel. I'm gonna set it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna rape you. Then throw y'all in there and, and set it on fire. So them niggas is sick niggas over there. Just think about it. They came up with French kissing. French kissing is some nasty shit. How, like, seriously, how many black people in America are French kissers? Like, who, who really does that? That's some shit that you, that, that's like a, you know, some TV shit. You know what I'm saying? French kissing. The fuck out of here. You told my friend, like, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you swapping tongues. You, you know, oral sex is actually way safer than French kissing. You lick another nigga's tongues. You know what I'm saying? You know, like that's the tongue is is the strongest muscle in the body, but also that's where like some of the like the mouth is where the most bacteria in your body resides. You know? So just that whole idea of French kissing and shit like that. Because France is nasty, like, they, they, they don't, their whole sexual identity shit is not where it is, like, in America. Them niggas over there, they're like, listen, I gotta fuck tonight. I don't give a fuck whether it's a fat bitch, whether it's a fat white nigga, whether it's a black, black nigga or a fat bitch. They don't care. You know what I'm saying? They gonna bust off. That's how they do over there. That's where the whole, why, why they think it's all romantic. You know what I'm saying? I've heard stories about people going over there to um, France and shit like that and niggas... Niggas approaching they girl like you know what I'm saying like it's just strangers approach they girl like it's automatically some group sex involved. You know what I'm saying? So France is a nasty place. So with with Fran with Chris Brown catching a rape case in France, it seems like okay, the Me Too movement is going global. And France is one of the places where they would have to, would start well, you know what I'm saying to. One of the ones that they would co-op, like, you know what, get down with us because we know how y'all do over there. Like, raping is, like, damn near illegal over there. And so, the women over there in France right now, they on this Me Too shit. Like, a lot of women on this, you know, fighting for their rights and shit. Because the rape culture over there is, is you know what I'm saying, that's a real, it's a real culture. You know how they say that shit in America? Oh, we got a rape culture because... Um, black men holler at girls on the street. No, nigga, stop. No rape culture over there. It's like they 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 meet in the club, and I'm and um I'm tricking you to come to the bathroom, and that's all I gotta do is get you into the bathroom because you're gonna get raped right there. That's how France is. So with, with Chris Brown, yeah, man, with Chris Brown, you know we're gonna go through this report just so we see exactly what's going on, man. Hold on. Chris Brown is in police custody in Paris as we speak. A judicial source close to the investigation tells NBC News the 29-year-old's been detained for aggravated rape and drug allegations and as of Tuesday was still being held. E! News has reached out to Chris's team, including his attorney and music label for comment, as well as the French police and prosecutor. We have not yet heard back. So two anonymous 
Police officials have told the Associated Press that the singer, his bodyguard, and another person were taken into custody after the woman accused him of raping her in a hotel room last week. Now, the only thing we can confirm is that Chris has a photo on his Instagram posted a day ago saying he was rehearsing in Paris. He was also photographed in the city on January 17th, so we know he's there, but we don't know exactly what the whole purpose of his trip was. So... Yeah, they don't know exactly what the purpose of his trip was, but he got a picture up saying, I'm rehearsing in Paris. You know what I'm saying? So you see how that story is going to come back to America. And we're going to have all these, they're going to have all these questions. But these rapes in hotels, this is going to lead to, you know, first of all, them be, it being uh, cameras in every hotel room. And then, you know, when, when I hear a rape in the hotel room between a celebrity and, you know, a rape accuser, I kind of, uh, yeah, I have, I have to take it with a grain of salt because rape, you know what I'm saying, I guess in the first degree is forcible entry. And so when they, when you just see the word rape thrown all, thrown across everywhere, you know what I'm saying? You don't know. That's that's what most people think. You know what I'm saying? That's what people think about R. Kelly and shit like that and 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 everything. But you know, how how many black celebrities at the top of the game have we lost to a quote unquote rape case? They got Tupac. They got Mike Tyson. You know what I'm saying? Like. like Obviously, they're trying to make either R. Kelly or Chris Brown next. And one funny thing about the niggas that they're attacking is that these niggas own their masters. Well, with R. Kelly, yeah, he had a, a crazy type of deal. I don't know exactly how his deal broke down, but because I started hearing that uh, he didn't own all his publishing shit like that. I didn't start hearing that until, until fucking... This whole Me Too shit, Mute R. Kelly shit popped off. And that was like last year. But up until then, I believe R. Kelly pretty much owned to all his shit. Which is why he was so rich and, and was able to keep his um brothel safe. You know what I'm saying? If he had one, allegedly. Allegedly. But this shit with Chris Brown, man. You know, a rape. Somebody accused him of rape in the hotel. Now it's just like, yo, man. Black niggas. Getting pussy, and if you're a black nigga and you're famous and you're getting pussy, you really, really got to be careful, man. It's not even to the point like you can't be like, oh, I can't fuck with these girls. These girls do the These girls, no, nigga. They making it for the whole shit. You can't, you're not safe. You can't be like, oh, I'm just fuck with a black girl. I'm just fuck with a Spanish girl. Like, no, they got them types and them types doing the same shit. You know what I'm saying? And this is very, very dangerous because, look, you know what I'm saying? I'm a nobody. People listening. I hope, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who's listening, but, you know, if, you, if you're just a regular listener, you know what I'm saying? Just, you got to make sure that you're covered out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I put myself in the single black male category. You know what I'm saying? I put myself there. That means that I'm not tied down to one specific woman. And that right there is the da is the danger. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you fucking with these different girls here, here and there. And we don't know which ones are like believing this shit. You know what I'm saying? We don't know like because now this got to be a topic of a conversation. This has to be a topic of a conversation. Cause this shit with Chris Brown is, is truly egregious, man. We will definitely keep you guys updated on this story. Follow E online, watch E News tonight. Um, you'll get the latest on this. But as far as Chris Brown goes, um, is he ever going to shake this troubled history, this troubled image that he has? I, th I think when you were a star in the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s, 
what happened was you did something wrong and your business was splattered all over a tabloid. And then once that became O News, it moved further and further and further behind the tabloid. But now with the internet and social media, once you do something, it remains public and in everyone's lives forever yeah. because it's there and it never goes away. Listen, let me tell you, I don't know what happened with Chris Brown and Rihanna, right? Like, okay, they had a domestic violence fight. But what we also have to realize that Rihanna is a Caribbean girl. That means she's fucking crazy. That means she's the type to throw knives at you. You know what I'm saying? To uh, slap niggas while they driving. You know what I'm saying? Try to put niggas in the headlock. Like, yo, I'm on an interstate. What are you doing? Like, are you fucking dumb? Now, I'm not saying I'm like I have experience in this arena. But what I'm saying is that when you know these type of these uh, Caribbean girls, we we know that they're um they're not wrapped too tight when it comes to certain shit. But I'm not I'm not you know what I'm saying alleviating Chris Brown for none of that shit. Uh you know I don't this that's old that don't that don't matter that don't matter that's old. Just like with R. Kelly peeing on the girl on tape that doesn't matter that's old he beat that case. We have to we have to focus on. What's, you know what I'm saying, the real shit. But really what, what's also being uh, doing right now is the Constitution is being rewritten right in front of us. It don't fucking matter what the fuck if we if you beat that case before. If, if, you, if you got over on us, we're going to get you. But the Constitution say that, you know, there's no such thing as double jeopardy. You can't try somebody twice for, for the same thing. The Constitution says that you need evidence. The Constitution say that, you know, somebody just saying something isn't enough. But that that's not what it is, obviously, that we see what's going on into you know, in today's times. But, you know, Chris Brown and his troubled past most of it has been just some media contrived shit. You know what I'm saying? Like what has Chris Brown done since that Rihanna fight? What do you know of from Chris Brown that is like such that is so troubling and shit like that? What is so troubling about like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Nigga did some coke. Well, he's in the gang now or some shit. Like, what happened? I don't, I don't know. That's why people like Hugh Grant and Rob Lowe, Charlie, Charlie Sheen, even Sean Penn had all these things happen to them back in the day, but no one remembers it. Chris Brown had. Yeah, shout out to this black nigga. I don't know who he is. Nigga looked like um, Wayne Brady, but props to him for for bringing up these cases because. Niggas get quiet, like I'm saying, like he's talking to two white women, and trust me, you don't you don't hear them chiming in, like yeah, you're right, when it comes to these white niggas. Happened to be involved in one of the biggest scandals in music ever, and it happened in the age of the internet and social media. Yeah, with two A-list stars, you know, obviously we're re re referencing back to Rihanna. It's crazy to me. I was just looking. This news broke like yesterday or the day before, and. It's still the number one trending thing on Twitter. People are obsessed with Chris Brown. Whether it's good news or bad news, people are clicking on it. They want to know more about Chris Brown. Well, unfortunately, he has a really bad reputation, and I feel like even if there's a certain amount of time where things seem to be going right and he's dropping more music... and really? How does Chris Brown have a really bad reputation? You see how they like to paint pictures? This white bitch don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? This bitch didn't buy Chris Brown last album. You know what I'm saying? This bitch don't have, ain't heard a shit from about Chris Brown ever since the Rihanna shit. But Chris Brown has a really bad reputation. Just pay attention to that because that's how these white bitches that don't know nothing but if you make their eye, if you catch their eye in a negative light, that's how you're going to stay. Everyone's a fan of Chris Brown when his music comes out. Like, people like the songs no matter what. And people do sort of, not forget, but they do kind of hop on board with like, oh, God, he is so talented. And then, unfortunately, these things just keep coming up for him. And you can tell even... You see, this this is the exact same shit they pull in with R. Kelly. Oh, man, his songs were so good. We just make, just make you forget about the um sex slaves and shit like that. But, you know... But real talk, what it really what really happened is that okay, R. Kelly went to trial. He beat the case, and you know, black people we respect the Constitution. White people don't. Why we're like when it when it like when the black person benefits from it, then that shit don't exist no more. You know what I'm saying? And with Chris Brown, like yeah, the Rihanna shit happened. What that that shit is over ten years ago. 
It's over 10 years ago. So now what we need is we need Rihanna to step up. Rihanna had to step up and say something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what she's doing. You know what I'm saying? She over there. She thinks she live in France or some shit. She over there in France with some white, with some rich white nigga. You know what I'm saying? They, they, she bed winching. She living it up and everything. But, you know, she she acting like she bear no responsibility in this shit. You know what I'm saying? his mugshot he's like how am i here again like why does this keep happening but and for a while i was kind of i went back and forth on the situation but he just clearly needs to reconfigure some things because it's not working or reconfigure. Out. what 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 is what, what is clear that he needs to uh reconfigure like what is what is clear it's not clear to me it's clear that you know it's attack on black niggas that's clear to me but you see we have white bitches like this this is who's going to be on the jury Yes, he's in France, but there are white bitches like her in America that are influencing these white these bitches over there in France to think like how they thinking. You know what I'm saying? They don't know shit about Chris Brown. Who's around him? Or who's around exactly? Like maybe it's not even him directly. We weren't there. We don't know exactly what's happened. But maybe people that he's riding with are are running amok, and it's causing him to go down. Yeah, you see. That's it. You see, that's who we have reporting the news. I think that was NBC or some shit like that. But, you know, they, like, the racism, they racism is clear. Like, we don't got to go into that because we are, we already know. It's like, that's a known fact. But the attack on these black niggas, man, it's out of control. It's out of control because after Chris Brown, you know, there's going to be an Ayanna Jackson documentary coming. Vlad started it when he did that interview. He's, he kicked it off. He's gonna then he's gonna put his hands up. Like, oh man, I have no. All I did was interview the girl. All I did was give her a platform to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck that bitch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to. You know, which one? Where you stand at? You know what I'm saying? Because if I interview if I interview the bitch, I'm gonna ask her straight up. You know what I'm saying? Like you 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 say niggas like selling like niggas ran a train on you. Now you mad? Like, but you wanted to be in poetic justice. You wanted Janet Jackson role or something? That's what, that's what, that's how we got to treat these, these rape accusers because nowadays, because now, like, it's just, it's ridiculous. Chris Brown ain't raping no bitch in France. You know what I'm saying? Chris Brown could have 12 bitches flown over from California to France if he wanted to. You know what I'm saying? But don't, don't be fooled by just because it's out of this country that we have, like, America has nothing to do with it. Just like when Dr. Sabi got killed, we know America has something to do with it. Just, it was perfect to kill him in Honduras. But, that's another topic. That's another story. But that's the, the way America moves. You know what I'm saying? So, they, they, they feel like they got R. Kelly already. They're like, okay, we got him dropped from Sony. He's not making no more money. So when we bring this nigga to trial, his money's going to be short. He can't, we can't, he can't drag the trial um, along like how he did before because his money's going to be shorter. Got that nigga out the way. Okay, oh, yeah, we got Bill Cosby already. He's sitting up. That nigga, that nigga in child right now. You know what I'm saying? And um, Chris Brown, you know what I'm saying? The guy R. Kelly, Chris Brown, Michael Jackson, he dead. They still trying to get him. They already, like, completely shitting on Michael Jackson's legacy, like, they, they don't want him to exist anymore. They said Post Malone broke all of his records. So Post Malone is the new Michael Jackson. Um, now Chris Brown. So if you are a black nigga and you, and you want to be a bed buck, you want to be a sex symbol, you're going to have to, it's like they, they coming for you. you you're the main one they coming for. You're the main one they coming for. Why? Because they worried about their population. Oh, nigga, you're going to. And you see, that's that's another story. That's another story, man. But I'm going to go and get out of here, man. I'm out.